Hi. In this clip, I'll take you through the basic function of a speaker, and in this case, a guitar speaker. Well, the basic function of a speaker is, is based on quite an interesting phenomenon. If you move a magnet inside a coil of copper wire, it will induce a current running through this wire. And uh, that is, of course, if the circuit is closed. You probably recognize the look of a speaker magnet here on a uh, Celestian G12V75 guitar speaker. Well, a magnet has two poles, somewhat uh, naively represented here. The magnet is assembled with two plates and a pole piece. These assume the polarities of adjacent surfaces of the magnet. Here is a cross-section through the, through the uh, middle of the magnet, the plates and the pole piece. The gap is uh, heavily exaggerated for graphical purposes. The coil is assembled on a former, which can be made of different materials. More about that later. When the coil is fed by the amp signal or current, it makes the coil move accordingly. You could uh, Google Faraday's law if you want to dig deeper into how this works. The voice coil former shall be attached to the speaker. So uh, let's prolong it a bit. The purpose of the frame is to hold the speaker cone. It is glued or bolted on to the front plate. The speaker cone is glued on to the voice coil former and to the suspension at the edge. The suspension is glued on to the frame. The edge of the speaker is furthermore treated or doped uh, to reduce the risk of, of cracking at the edge. It furthermore uh, does a number of things to the sound as well, but more about that later. The spider secure that the voice coil only moves up and down and not sideways. It is glued onto the frame as well as onto the voice coil. The coil is attached to the solar terminal to which also the, the amp is attached. When the signal of the amp, or current if you will, is fed into the coil, it will move accordingly. Doing so, the cone or diaphragm pushes the air, creating sound waves. Now this, is, has, this has been a basic description on, of, of how a speaker works. In the next click, next clip, sorry, um, I'm going to go through all the design parameters of a speaker and see how each and every one of those can be tweaked to have different kind of sounds, you know, kind of voice, coil, form, material, and 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 the material of the uh, of the cone. And all those things, you, you probably heard about pulsonic cones and, and so on. Like they can make it a number of different interesting sounds. So check out that clip as well. All right. Thanks for listening. Cheers.